Hi. I feel like it has been forever since I've been on here. And to tell you the truth, I haven't felt the best as far as, I mean, physically I've been okay. Other than overeating in my tummy, you know, that's my fault. But, um, just haven't felt the best lately. So I thought that I might hop on here and got to have a meeting tonight with some of my ladies on my team. So I thought, even though they can't even see me, I'd put my face on and show up, in other words. So that's what I'm going to do. So I just thought I would hop on here. Never put this chair up close enough. Hop on here, see what's been going on, and even out the skin tone a little bit. So as you guys see, I did spray my face with the um, setting spray. Well, it's kind of a prep spray, spray, blah, 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 prep spray as well. And if you maybe would like a more mattifying, you could use that e.l.f. poreless primer and they do make a matte version of it. I used to have some e.l.f. and Tatcha primer and since I have been transitioning all my makeup over to here I've been giving away some of my other makeup to my girls and I think they took those primers but that's fine that's fine I I like this better anyway so and it's a lot easier but if you did want that that's always an option the um, elf you can get at Walmart Target CVS Anything like that. Okay. I do want to try something today. Some of the other ladies. Let me see if I have it in here. I think I do. Some of the other eight ladies. Yes, I do. Have been using Aspen Contour all over. And that just kind of evens out your face. So I'm going to try it. And if it doesn't work for me. Hey, it's just makeup. It wipes right off, right? So I'm going to pick up my B squared brush, which is the um, blush bronzer. And we're just gonna try it. So I'm just gonna tap into it. This table needs to be a little more sturdy. It's like the whole thing started shaking. And I'm just going to see if this evens it out. I had to do a presentation for my group last week and I took my light out of here that I usually use. So everything is kind of up in the air. I need to put it back on here and straighten everything back up. Well, what do you think? I still have one acne spot here, but as far as actual skin tone, I think it Actually, it did a pretty good job of evening that out. I'll touch it up on my nose. I'm not being careful with this. I'm just spreading it out pretty thin. So this would be great. Just, you know, every day maybe you had a phone, um, you know, a video chat that you had to, to do. And you didn't really have anything else to do but that. But you could be at home. This would be great. This would be great just to even out your skin tone and leave it at that kind of a one and done type thing. Or if you wanted to, you could also just use it as your primer. But I think that it did a really, really fairly good job of evening that out. It would not bother me whatsoever to sit down and, and have a conversation or a message like this. Okay, but since I'm on here, I might as well finish it up, right? Okay, so I'm going to take my detail hack brush. All my brushes are double-ended. If you like any information on any of the products that I show you, or if you like to be colored matched, just shoot me a message and I'd be happy to send you my form. 
most of our colors are all back in stock now. There for a little bit after, um, you know, the factories and everything started working that they still wasn't able to work at full capacity. So we did run out a lot of his stuff. However, I, I do think um, things are starting to pick back up and I know a lot of things came back in stock. So hopefully we ought to have that. Okay, so for my contour, I'm gonna feel for my cheekbone and I'm just gonna kind of press up underneath it. There's really no right way, wrong way to do this. Again, we're working with cream, so if something does get out of line, wipe it off. Like I said, it's makeup. While makeup does make us feel good, it's not the end of the world if we mess up. Just wipe it off and start over again. Okay, gonna do the same thing on this side. Sometimes I like to put my contour down and blend it out entirely, and other times I will put my highlight on and then see if I need a little more, you know, blend it out. Again, there's no right or wrong way to do this. And this color that I'm using is just olive, and all it is doing is creating a shadow. Your contour is going to create a shower. Shower? <laughs> shadow. So you can already tell that I just created a shadow right here, and it's making my face look a little slimmer. And hey, if you ate a little bit of too many snack cakes, guess what? You can do that to your chin as well. So take it right along your jawline. And that'll kind of camouflage. Eh, your little extra quarantine chin you have going on there. I don't know how these people that got all nice and buff. I mean, I was going to the gym really, really good before quarantine, but staying at home, it's like, hmm, what can I eat now? Okay, you know, I'm gonna load my brush up again and I'm gonna take this right here on my hairline. And again, a contour is just creating a shadow. So if your forehead is a little bit bigger than than you'd like for it to. You know, we're just going to bring that down. I'm just going to bring that down. Now, if you have a wider face, you would probably want to bring it all the way down. Uh, I'm, I stop about right here. <laughs> Looks like I got mud all over me, don't I? We'll fix that, I promise. All right. So I got my, my jaw, my cheeks, my forehead. Now I'm going to pick up a color for highlight since I've been out in the sun a little bit. Um, got a little bit darker. I'm stepping up from amber and going to sandy. I do really like this color. I could still pull off amber. That's the beauty of this um, makeup as well. Is it's so multi-purpose. And you can use more than one highlight color. When they started um, mascara, which this was a point that I didn't know until just recently, but they started with three highlight colors. A highlight, which is what we typically know as foundation. They started with three and they would sell out. And you would think somebody that has three colors, there's no way that that's gonna work, right? Because we have from the fairest of the fairest skin tones to a, a deeper, darker skin tone. But you know what? It's They've branched out, they've added more, but they started with three. That's pretty encouraging. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this Sandy. Right underneath where I contoured that. And I'm kind of carrying that highlight color into that contour. Still leaving this part open here for blush. And I am leaving this underneath my eye area and in between right here, it's, it's that triangle. That, just think of that triangle. And I'm leaving that open for my brighter, my lighter color so that you're attracting the light 
where you want people to look at you. And we want people to look at us at our eyes. So I'm going to grab that one. I'm still using candlelit for my um, underneath my eyes. Again, there's others that would work too. You could use Aura would be great. If you want a real pop right here, some ladies put a real bright right in there. Linen is perfect for that. Now, when it comes to underneath my eyes, I try not to drag because, you know, that skin's pretty delicate there. And I don't want to pull at it, tug at it. So I try to just kind of pounce that in. I'll pick up some more. I'm still using the same brush. This brush is going to give you um, more of a medium coverage. If you are, like in the summertime, I know some of us like to wear a BB cream. Um, this Best Blend Forever is good for a, a lighter coverage. It's actually perfect. It's the one that you would probably want to use just to give you a very light coverage. And then going the other way, if you want to go full glam, you're like, well, I just like a full coverage look. That's perfectly fine as well. Um, Buffy. Buffy will be your best friend. And as you can see, every one of our brushes is double-ended. So that just is saving you time. It's saving you money. It's saving you space. I mean, who doesn't want to save all that, right? Okay, so I'm taking this candlelit right in between my eyes. If I wasn't talking, I could do this in a matter of three to, to five minutes tops. Does not take long at all. Okay, as you can see, I got a really good base down Making sure I kind of drag it a little bit. Don't have any harsh lines. I'm gonna pick this my phone up here. It's not thick, it's not cakey, it's all one layer. You have your contour. We could still put on our um our blush, lip and cheek colors. That's probably my favorite. I have really been enjoying the lip and cheek. And let's go for some, is this Tropicana? I believe it is. No, it's not, it's Cindy. They're kind of close, but um, it's, Cindy's a little bit more of a pink. Tropicana is a little bit more of a peach. So I'm still going to use this same brush that I've been using. I'm not wiping it off. I'm just um, picking it up. If you see this, you're like, oh my gosh, there's no way I can put this on my face. But yeah, I can. Just get it on the apples of your cheeks. Put it where you want it. I'll tap in there a little more. So this color is called Cindy. And then I'm gonna flip my brush around, still using that same brush, and just diffuse it and spread it out. And see, it's just very seamless, very flawless. That is the beauty, beauty, beauty of this cream makeup. You know, I've always been a makeup lover. Love it, love it, love it. Just recently, within the last five years, I started a collection of high-end makeup. Um, and it, I love it. I loved all of it. But as the older I was getting, it wasn't sitting on my face right. You know, all the powders would, especially up underneath your eyes. You know, you know, we all have wrinkles. Some of us have a little more than others, and that's fine. But up underneath your eyes, you know, it just starts getting where it don't look as good. And that's what I, I was looking 
for something that would still make me feel like me again, if that makes any sense. And I come across um, Harmony Buse. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of her. I seen her on YouTube. She she did a um, hair tutorial and I watched her hair tutorial and I was like, wow, she's just so cute. She's so bubbly. She's just so draws you in kind of personality. So I started following her on Instagram and um, that's where I found this makeup. And then I thought, man, that's so neat that it's all in one compact. Your colors are customized for you. If you, you know, like say you want to build an eyeshadow collection, okay? I was buying that Anastasia and I want to say they're $42 for a 12 pan. And you're going to use two or three. And then that's it. These are magnetic. They can pop in, pop out. You can build the colors that you want. You would say, hey, there's no way I would ever use that blue. You don't have to buy it. Okay? And then you might say, this one, I'll go through that a lot. You get this one down empty, just pop it out, put a new one in. We're all working out of one palette. I, I'm in the midst of combining some on mine. So th this one is a actual a triple layer. So I uh, haven't got anything in the, in the middle yet. And um, I am working on putting, I need to get my highlights in here. And then this right here is the Bella Bronzer. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And you can, I'm still going to use this same, same brush. Just dab into it. It's going to, it's going to blend out so pretty. Even if you have very, very fair skin tone. See how quick and easy that just blended out. And, you know, since it's summertime, if you just wanted to use, you know, a light layer of this on your face, that'd be perfectly fine, too. If you tend to get oily, you're more than welcome to set this, or you just like the matte look. That's fine. You can set this with your favorite setting powder. Um, I normally would have done that before, but I love the way that this makeup is just kind of dewy and makes my skin look really dewy. Not greasy. Just dewy. And I'm just tapping into this illuminator called Glow to give me a little extra glow. I put that on my nose as well. Okay, I've got my face done. And then I'm gonna wipe off my lips. Make sure I don't have any of that foundation on there. I hope you guys are having a good day today. You have any summer plans? Any vacations planned? I think the world is kind of opening back up a little bit. I think I have to still proceed with caution, but. Okay, so I got, I got my lips clean. And I'm just gonna use uh, my God-given tools, AKA my fingers. And I am going to get into that What did I say that what color was called? Cindy. Yes. Cindy is a more of a matte coverage. Kind of gives you a little pretty pink after you kind of diffuse it out. And then I'm going to take this color called Hopelessly Devoted. 
which is a very, very, very sheer pink, and just put on top to give me a little gloss. And there you have it. Let me take my hair down so you can see what it looks like a little better up against me. Again, I only have like that one layer. My skin is very dewy, but it's not caked on. It just looks like my skin, but better. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I'm getting ready for a, a virtual meeting that they're not ever going to see me. But that's fine. That's fine. I Sometimes just putting on a little bit of makeup eh, makes you feel a little bit better, you know, makes you feel like you got your stuff together a little more. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you need any information on anything that you've seen here, please um, message me and I'll be happy to get back with you. I got a couple of parties going. If you would like to host a party and earn free makeup yourself, then also you can contact me for that. And let's get you going. I hope you have a great summer and I'll be back. Bye guys.